Ready to go? That was mine. He's like, mountains are lame. To be fair, he has a sore paw. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. I'm at Mount Pleasant and working on the Lorm Trail. Going to the summit. It's only about two and a half to three miles. About a thousand foot climb, not too bad. Albus is with me. His foot hurts. He's got a little problem on the bottom of his paw. It healed a little bit, but I put the doggy cream on it, so we'll see how he does. I've been working out now for about two and a half weeks and no cardio. <laughs> so while I can lift the bag, carrying it more than 10 feet, it's like, that's lame. But it's okay, I'm thinking, spend the night on the southeast side of the mountain. I don't need a tarp because there's no, um, no wind, no rain, no snow. Beautiful, beautiful day. Blue skies everywhere. And I'm in actually in the Jefferson and I forget the other one. Forest, National Forest. <sighs> so I'm waiting for this guy. He smells a deer or an animal. He's like, this is, this is the most interesting thing I've ever. It's like, come on, dude. So anyway, this trail doesn't mess around. It starts off steep. You good, homie? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You see, What they don't tell you is to get here, you have to go about a mile on this dirt road. <laughs> and I had to do it in a minivan. It was epic. I saw a Tesla that gave up about 25% of the way because it's really bumpy. So if you don't have high ground clearance, it's hard. Plus, you know, Tesla's weigh a lot, so I get it. But he, he got so sick from all the turns, he puked. <laughs> he should have been driving. He wouldn't have gotten sick. It's always funny when you meet backpackers. They, they're like, you're pack, are you doing an Appalachian Trail? I'm like, no, I'm spending a night one night. <laughs> Cause like I have a massive pack, no ultra leg gear at all. It's like probably 30 plus pounds, stuff I don't need. And they have like these teensy bit of backpacks for their, you know, dried fruit, nuts, and water. It's funny, Appalachian Trail, this is a loop. If I was on the Appalachian Trail, I'd be, what's the word? Really lost. <laughs> anyway, Ian Trapp from work recommended this as one of the first backpacking and camping spots. And it's like, it's definitely intermediate. If you're out of shape, you can't hike this. I got willpower though.
One second, buddy. All right, let's go. Up the hill, you moron. No, not that way. That way. Go, go, go. I'll follow you. Man. Super steep, man. Whew. All right, keep going, buddy. Keep going. Need a break? I understand. So this guy, ah, you stay away from my cheese teeth. You don't want to come off trail, but I found these rocks and like, I bet you the view's awesome. It looks like this has been a campsite for a while. I didn't even see this fire until I started filming. But this area is cool. And so they got the rocks there to keep you warm. And then, you know, pretty flat and gushy. Like this, this soil is gushy. But I want to go up those rocks right there. So Albus is taking a break. I gave him some cheese cheese. He's got to take his medicine. Let's see if we can see what's on top. Ugh. There's somehow still snow. That's why it's like 46 degrees. Whatever. Uh, well, I think I can parkour up there somehow. Let's go this way. Pretty man. That's what they call it the Blue Ridge. Cause they blue. Oh, and you can see the rest of the Virginia over there, I think. So I think the the left is you know back the other way, and then this is the rest of the national forest. That is <laughs> that's quite the view. 
I wonder if I can make it to that grass place over there. No, we'll see. I could just camp here tonight, but I want to go see that other place. Maybe I can backtrack. I don't know. We'll see. I was you chill right there. Stay there. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Okay, that's the west. Elvis, come here. Following you, man. I don't know where I'm going. So I guess this is where you watch the sun rise, huh? Okay. I need some trees for hammock camping. Albus, come over here real quick. Come over here. <laughs> come on, buddy. Parkour. Hardcore. Come on. Use your brain. Use your brain. Come on. Use your brain. Dummy head. This way. What do you think, buddy? Pretty cool, huh? I wonder if I get camped on there, wolves. <sighs> Come on, Alice, let's go over here. Yeah, 
This is when you want a tent. Western kids are. Go. Oh, gosh. You okay? Doing good. Okay. I can find some trees. We found the spring and it is super shallow. It comes out of a hole right there in the middle of the screen and then goes down and it's like super, like <laughs> half a centimeter, quarter of an inch. It's just ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to collect this. But I was debating if I just set up camp here, but I think I have enough water. You never know. Let's, uh, let's see. How about you're going to drink the whole spring, buddy? So there's a spring up there, but then if you go here, like, this is perfect. Right? Because you would, you know, you just... Someone is tuckered out. Oh wait, he's awake. He's been sitting there with his eyes closed for like 20 minutes. Funny tired man. <laughs> well, he's tuckered out. But I got my spear hat just in case. My lantern. 
I put the uh, top high enough so when I wake up in the morning I can see outside instead of it being beamed down. It's not supposed to be windy. And got some places for my shoes just in case. It's supposed to get from 46 to 37 here in about, what is it, 30 minutes. I'm going to go eat over there by the pack and then when I'm done put everything in the pack and just, there's a tree over there hanging which is about 10 feet off the ground. I can just literally drag the pack all the way up to it. So I don't even have to get two trees, I can just get one. Yeah, it's getting dark and cold, but I'm gonna be super warm. I got my zero degree, plus I got my quilt protector that's literally zipped to the, the war bonnet sleeping bag, so I'll be fine. And, uh, and that water over there, it's put me to sleep. <laughs> Jeez. I was thinking to get across, buddy, huh? You wanna walk on the rocks? Just thinking about it. Come on, buddy, on the rocks. You can do it, I believe in you, on the rocks. Right here, Alice. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, pretty boy. Come on, pretty boy. Let's try on that one. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got this. Yeah, good boy. You gonna go on those rocks? Come on. We'll be here all day. <laughs> 